really the type of girl that would do anything. Hello, it's Kiko and welcome back to Tommy Girl. So today I filmed for you guys a quite different video from the usual. But I know that a lot of you guys have been expecting this video. So I was super excited to upload this video. So today I'm going to be filming a vlog slash me explaining what's happening in the vlog because if there's one thing that I've realized while vlogging is that I am really not talented at vlogging at all because um, I didn't vlog half of the time so we're missing half of the important part and I'll also when I'm vlogging I'm not really talking so you guys might not even know what's happening so I figured out that maybe I should just film myself explaining what's happening while you guys can watch it's just really hard to vlog i don't know how like people do it like i i tend to just forget that i have to film like almost everything and also i really don't i prefer like really living the moment and not like really just like filming everything and seeing everything through a camera it's always just nicer to see everything with your own eyes but i really wanted to share this unique experience with you guys so i still decided to film um after the first day what i'm vlogging today i know that not a lot of people like vlogs but this is a vlog worth for me worth watching so a month and a half ago i um, uploaded on my story some like sneak peeks of this really important project that I'm part of. I live in Montreal and there's this girl from Montreal also that a few years ago started her own bikini clothing line called um, Hawaka Swimwear and um, now she's just viral, she's just everywhere across the internet. She's just like a huge influence um, across Instagram right now. Okay so she's really known for her bikinis and there is one message that she really wants to let people know is to feel confident in your body no matter what your shape is um well obviously there's like a bigger like that's the like general message but there's many other messages that she's trying to get to her audience they're promoting um all sorts of like contests and one of the contests was a secret project about self-confidence and how to feel like confident in your body and everything and it was back in February in like this February so I filled out the form and the form was super long like there was like at least 20 questions so I really answered everything honestly and like from the bottom of my heart and um, they were just asking me a bunch of questions about confidence and my insecurities how I how I feel confident in everything and I know that a lot of people can't picture me talking about self-confidence I wouldn't be the greatest person I feel to talk about it but I gave it a shot because I know that YouTube and fashion has been a huge like a big influence on my life so I based myself on YouTube and, fa and like my passion for fashion and I answered all questions and then at the end you had to upload one picture of yourself and I just uploaded this picture that I'm gonna insert here I thought that it would just represent me well so and then after a few months went by I completely forgot that I participated in that project until in April they sent me an email and they told me that they wanted to see me a second selection round and so like I met them and they asked me what like, kind of the similar questions but they wanted to see if I could be able to communicate it to people so I did that and then um, a week later they told me that they called me and they told me that I was part of the project and I was so pumped about it and then that's when everything started they started planning everything 
honestly the planning team was everything they i don't know how they managed and i don't know how they managed to plan everything all by themselves an ad called break the filter and filter as in it can the filter can mean a lot of things but since um instagram is a huge thing right now it's kind of um relating to like an instagram filter how you should break your instagram like you don't need a filter to to like feel confident but obviously filter means a lot more in this ad that you're gonna see um filter basically kind of means your insecurities so there's just like so many like different and deep messages that i just can't really explain with words and you guys know i'm the worst at explaining things so i hope that by watching this vlog and watching the ad you guys are gonna understand more of what what's happening and what the message is that's the video and i believe that it's like the teaser so and then everyone is gonna have like a one minute i think or more um video for every person so everyone's gonna be talking about their stories and then i believe at the end it's the official ad yeah that's what i think so it was a three-day shooting and it was actually like in the middle of my exam week so i just completely pushed my studies aside and i just went to downtown montreal to film this and i kind of felt guilty but at least i did i passed my classes i wasn't gonna say that i did good in my exams but i passed my classes and i'm officially done with sciences so i was saying that i i walked down to downtown i shot there for three days and that's basically what i vlogged i did not vlog the first day because like i said i'm really bad at vlogging i didn't really feel comfortable vlogging in front of everyone i don't like when people see me filming and also i totally forgot to bring my vlogging camera so i was like okay whatever i'm just not gonna vlog the first day was so overwhelming like all i could do is just observe everything there was no words that really came out of my mouth that day which kind of made it awkward because of me because i wasn't talking i was just so overwhelmed by everything and i'm just quiet in general so the first day i wasn't really talking to i didn't really bond with the other people the first day and it's totally i feel that's totally my fault i was just not really letting anyone come near me um but it got better eventually um on the other days and that's and it's on the second day that i started talking to the other people and they convinced me to um to vlog because they just totally convinced me and mostly for you guys you guys are gonna watch the ad so you guys are probably gonna be super interested to see the behind the scenes and it was just a really nice place to vlog and it i would totally regret it if i didn't vlog i came into the studio i metroed i took the bus to get to the studio they were like the studios were so big so clean so pretty so like aesthetically pleasing that's the word so for the first day what we did is that we shot the main ad for break the filter and by the time that this video was going to be uploaded i don't know if you guys ha would have seen the video i don't know but i'm gonna i'm not gonna explain it because like the ad says everything and in the studio room that's when we would get our makeup done and that was the first time ever that I got my makeup done by anyone ever and I just honestly felt like a model yeah so I got my makeup done and then oh yeah and then they gave me a bikini to try on so the first day I got this oh I got a new like um it's called the Kiko the pink velvet Kiko swimsuit she named it Kiko because i was the first person to ever wear it before it got released and then that's when we shot we shot the ad there was like a lot of filming equipment which made it look so professional it was really professional and yeah so we filmed that so the first day since it was the ad everyone had to be there at the same time because it was like a group thing everyone had to be in the ad and then after that yeah i think that was it 
second day I woke up I don't remember what time but that's when I started vlogging and that's when I can explain to you guys what's actually happening so here I'm just showing you guys where the studio is like I told you guys it's really in the middle of nowhere So the second day was called the interview day and that's when everyone really talked about their stories so that day was really more like a personal shooting so here I'm going through the back door to get in because since we we're doing the interviews it's, it was really important to be silent because of the microphone so I'm going by the back door and here you guys can see the two other participants, which are Sarah and Jonathan. Our private room, and then here is the shooting room. Okay. So here I'm just giving a little tour of like our room, and then you can see some bikinis and everything. I think second day was the emotional day because everyone was talking about their stories and they're not easy to be told especially in front of a camera and in front of five people so everyone got really emotional there's mode jonathan jessica sarah camilla and me but there was one thing that we all agreed on all six of us is that the interview part was so stressful because the camera is just like right, like less than a meter from your face and there's just like five people staring at you and waiting for you to answer the questions that you just blank out. The amount of times that I just blank out, didn't know what to say, is like crazy. There were many times that I was just repeating myself, I didn't really answer the questions. There's a lot of things that I felt like I didn't have enough time to explain. I didn't have enough time, I feel, like to talk about all my insecurities. I didn't know what kind of insecurities they wanted me to talk about. So I just said two random stuff that weren't that are accurate but that do not represent all of my insecurities. So I feel like we didn't have enough time. Well, it took the whole day, but like it was really hard just when you're put up put on the spot like that it's very hard to let graceful words and explanations get out of your mouth it's one of the things i regretted just not clearly explaining and answering the questions for the interview oh and the second day i was wearing this blue bikini it was high-waisted i got to wear the high-waisted blue bottoms which was very flattering for the body So by the end of that day, we got our surprise and we were really excited to see how, what it was going to be. The surprise was to go to Oasis Surf, but we went to Oasis Surf and you guys don't understand, I was so excited. So we ate some food.
So that's the end of the vlog. I really appreciated this unique and special experience that I was able to where I was able to learn and discover things, a lot of things. Um, I was able to meet a lot of great people with great stories and I just want to thank everyone that was part of this. Um, I know that everyone put a lot of their effort, time and energy in this and I honestly think that the result is beautiful and the message is even like more meaningful than just like saying it like that. I really really respect what Elizabeth has been able to do at such a young age. She has been able to achieve so many things and so much more than other people of her age which I find just really impressive. That's one of the things that I've been always, that's one of the goals I've been always trying to achieve. Um, I'm try There's so many things I want to do in life, I feel like I'm running out of time and I just want to try to do my best to do everything that I can possibly do at my age and I feel like I haven't done a lot of things that I could possibly do. I feel like I've also been doing a lot of things that other people that wouldn't do at my age. So I really hope she'll become more successful because while well, she already is successful but I really hope that she'll continue that path and I'll bring her somewhere positive and So I hope you guys will enjoy or, or have already enjoyed my episode. If you guys haven't watched it already, I think I'm going to be able to link it down below. And let me know if you liked it because I don't know, I don't know what to expect. I haven't seen it yet. So yeah. So thank you so much for all your support and I will see you guys next time. Bye.